Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I will be unboxing and reviewing the Pecron E1000 LFP. It comes in two boxes, which I found pretty nice. And in this inner box, we have on top our charge cables. We have the AC cable, the XT60 to uh, MC4 cable, and we have a car uh, XT60 to 12 volt car adapter. That's some thick foam, thick black foam. Just pack that back. And in here we have the star of the show, the uh, uh, Pecron thing. Uh, instructions and another thing. And I'm just checking out the ports. Probably should have had a light here. But we do have a light, but it's not bright enough. Yeah, just me looking at the thing investigating our extensions for battery extensions and checking our ports this unit came with 66 percent uh, charge for our first test we will be inflating my tire so this tire here every time it gets a little too cold and by a little too cold i mean below 75 degrees celsius i get a low tire pressure warning i think it's this tire um, so we're gonna inflate it with the Pecron. See how it manages. Turn on the DC output. Sorry, press and hold. Here we go. Red light says we're on. All right, this tire is at 32 PSI. It could use some air. So let's put some air in. Let's see how many watts we're pulling. About 95, 96 watts. 95, 96 watts and with our 66% battery. Um, it's between 68, 68 minutes and... Is that minutes or hours? Oh, sorry. 6.8 hours to seven hours all right that was quick we were at 45 40.5 psi let me do the other tire do i have to move the pecron yeah i'll move it this tire is at 25.5 psi so let's inflate this up to 40.5 For my next test, I want to, well, I want to test how fast I can charge something with the 12 volt port. So here I have a 200 watt, a 200 watt car charger, 12 volt car charger. I have my doubts that this is actually 200 watts because I have a 95 watt charger. I had one and it seems heavier than this. I wish I could use my own phone to charge it, but my phone is being weird. I can't even, I could plug in my phone to charge, it would not charge. I plug it into the computer, I can access my files, but the phone still would not charge. So let's test here. This is actually a bad test because I don't know the output of the 12 volts for the car. And I don't know if this is actually um 200 watts i'll be charging this v mount battery here which can charge as fast as whatever i have could charge something so let's set it up to be charged i also have a fancy um 250 240 watt cable i don't know if it's actually 240 watt but it's fast charging cable All right, and we're actually charging. 
wow, we're getting 19.68 volts, one, two amps, 2.2 amps, and I just saw it jump up to four to five watts, 24, 26. Let me show you guys. Hopefully you guys can see it because I'm not using my phone to monitor it because I'm a professional at this. We're getting nowhere near 200 watts. We are hovering around 26 watts and this can charge super fast. I'll put up how fast it can charge from the wall. I know this is actually 200 watts. This is probably like, I don't know. All right, so let's test the Pecron. All right, so I guess my microphone died here. So here I'm testing this, charging the same V-mount battery. And you can see how much watts it's pulling. It's going up and down, up and down, and then it finally stabilizes as 28 watts. I did notice, I did remember noticing and vocalizing the discrepancy between what the Pecron is showing as the output wattage and what my USB tester is outputting as the wattage. It's not the same. 28 is showing 28 on the Pecron and was at 26 on the USB tester. All right, and I guess I wanted to do B-roll for this too. So this would be like my primary use case scenario of this out on the field. So on my other channel, I build and fly RC airplanes and it, inevitably I also crash them. So I, I'm um, using my hot glue gun to repair one of my airplanes and I'm also using the Pecron to charge one of my LiPo batteries. So you're gonna see me repairing one of my airplanes in the in the video and I'm charging up my LiPo batteries. This is like perfect use case scenario for me when I'm out and about flying my airplanes on my other channel. All right, battery is finished charging. This was the battery to go that powers my goggles. This isn't like a flight battery. So that's why it charged so quickly. And while we're at it using the Pecron's AC outputs, why not cook some rice? So this rice cooker here cooks rice in approximately exactly, literally 30 minutes. Cooks the rice in half hour. So I just basically wanted, did the time lapse so you guys can see how, how much uh, watts the, ri the rice cooker pulls and watch it pulls cause it's not constantly pulling 344 watts. It's on, off, on, off, on, off for like basically for the in for the entire half hour um yeah i'm going to compress this after my b-roll because you guys don't really need to be seeing all of this fantastic on off on off on off of the thing so i'll just fast forward this so i've been using the pecron e1000 lfp for a couple of days now and i want to charge it right now we are at 51 percent i refuse to plug it into the wall so let's try some solar. This here, this is what I'm going to be charging with, not the box, silly. This is um, two solar panels, two 100 watt bifocal solar panels. And these solar panels were advertised, like the first thing on the listing said 200 watts. So I'm like, oh, two 200 watt panels? No. These are two 100 watt panels. And since these are bifocal, meaning that they can collect power from both sides of the panel. So you can collect power from this side and you can collect power from this side. Is this really a 100 watt panel or is this a 50 watt panel that can collect power on both sides? You see, you, you, you see, you see my problem here? All of this stemmed from the listing that's, if the listing did not advertise this as 200 watts, well, I guess it's my fault for not reading it properly because it did say 
The first thing it said was 200 watts, and then it said two piece 100 watts. So, um, that's on me. Um, I'm gonna connect these in series. Whoa, 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 that's probably not a good idea. I think I read on the listing that it should be fine. It should be fine. Um, as you can probably see from the quality of the shadow on the ground, we don't have much sun. We don't have much sun. So I'm going to connect these up and we're going to leave it out here. I want to like peep the output, but I don't think it would uh, be patient, have the patience for that. All right, we seem to have some decent sun now. Let's check the percentage on our Pecron 100, whatever, well, I forgot the name. I put it in the shed so we won't be direct, directly exposed to the sun. And we are charging at, whoa, 158 watts. Let's go with 2.5 hours. Um, if we get this, if we get this sort of power continuously. And mind you, we just start out charging at 51 watts. But that was like, what, an hour, two hours ago? It was a long time ago, 145 watts now. This is very promising, this is very promising. You also need like a consistently good day. Whoa, 165 watts, 166. That's awesome. It's 165, 163. So these are the two 100 watt bifacial panels so yeah this is cool and if we get this consistently for two hours 2.4 hours we can fully charge the pecron uh, e1000 lfp all right and here we are using the pecron as a battery for um 3d printing I'm 3D printing a Benchy, which takes about four to five minutes. And I noticed our output is anywhere between 316 watts to 50 watts. I was testing it. While I was doing the testing, I had to first change my filament from um, TPU to PLA. And then I printed Benchy. And it was, it was cool. It was cool seeing the the uh the printer temperature uh the wattage go up then down then up again then down just like on the rice cooker i suppose everything with the heating element it pulls about 300 watts and then it just comes back down then goes back up it doesn't see as a high wattage consistently so i suppose if i'm doing like a long print during like tumultuous weather i can definitely use the pecron uh, E1000 LFP as like a UPS. Oh, and since I'm doing this recording way later, just want to see that I fully charged the Pecron on my two solar panels. I put it out in the morning and pretty sure it finished charging around like two o'clock, but I was at work. So when I came back home, it was fully charged and yeah, super happy, super satisfied with this Pecron. Um, my only issue with it is that the cables, the bag with the cables, they cannot be stored inside or on the unit itself. So if I'm walking around with the unit, I am very likely to put down the bag up with the cables and forget it somewhere. And I'm not sure if this has, um, like, like Bluetooth or whatever, so I could see like the output and whatnot, but there is a Pecron app and I have to sign in with the app. I don't want to do all of that. I want to like use the app as like a guest. I don't want to like give give my information and all that to Pecron. Again, for five hundred dollars, which is what I paid with, well I paid about four ninety nine. I I like this. I like this a lot. Super duper like it. Super duper like that I could also get like free energy from the sun too. That's super dope. It is a bit heavy and not as portable as I would want it to be. It's about, what, 35 pounds, 30 pounds? Solid unit, solid unit. I rate it, I rate it 10 out of 10. Well, 
8 out of 10. And it probably should have a wireless charger at the top. You know, because this is like wasted space. But whatever. I like it, I like it. I don't think I'll buy another one. I probably need I probably need to get another one to pour like my fridge on my freezer. But as it is, this is this Pecron rocks. I love it. Alright, that's my overview and demo. Thanks for watching. Bye.